Helene and I'm currently a student in OUM and my learning center is in Petaling Jaya. I'm currently studying the degree course in education with TESOL and today I have prepared a speech which I would like to share with every one of you and the title of my speech is Mental Health in the Time of COVID. Back in November 17, 2019, a 55-year-old man from Hubei, China was reported to have contracted a mysterious disease. This is the first reported case of the COVID-19 virus. Then, fast forward to January 2020, the first case of COVID-19 was detected in our country, Malaysia. But of course, this virus is also spreading rapidly all over the world. To counter the attack of this virus, we as a country decided to take action. So in March of 2020, we had our very first MCO, also known as the Movement Control Order. Initially, this plan was supposed to last for 14 days, where our movements are restricted businesses and even places of worship are ordered to close. Additionally, we are all encouraged to stay in our homes at all times. One year later, people are raising white flags, businesses are permanently closed and many individuals have lost their jobs. With all these negativities that is going around, it is no doubt that this will also affect our mental well-being. This is why I believe that it is important to talk about our mental health and to take this issue more seriously. It is also time that we treat this as important as our physical health. Fear, worry and stress are normal responses when we perceive threats. It puts a burden in our minds and for some, it can even cause us to have a lack of sleep. And just like any other illnesses, if left untreated for too long, the outcome could even be fatal. It is also time that we Malaysians change our perspective about mental health. Ashamed, embarrassed or afraid, these are some of the emotions that stops a mental health patient from seeking real help. And why is that? Well, there is a strong social stigma that if the person is associated with any type of mental illness, he or she will be labeled as quote unquote crazy. This negative perception often leads individuals with real mental health issues to suffer in silence, and it also discourages them from seeking professional help. Currently, we are living through a global pandemic and we are constantly dealing with uncertainties. This could cause many individuals to experience a certain level of anxiety. While many things remain outside of our control, how we cope with stress is also very important. With that in mind, we have to understand that every one of us have our very own coping mechanism. With that being the reason, it is important for us to remember to never look down upon a person when he or she seeks out a professional such as a psychiatrist or a therapist for help. Just because one individual can handle his or her stress really well, doesn't mean that everyone else have the same ability to do so and it is okay to seek help. While we are doing our best to stay at home in hopes to curb the spread of COVID, staying indoors for too long is proven to be mentally unhealthy. Cooping inside for great lengths of time can build up anxiety and restlessness. Feeling restless can also make one irritable and upset than usual by seemingly minor things. So today, I'm going to share with you a few tips to take care of our mental well-being in this global pandemic times. Number one, open up your windows. Not only will the ventilation help decrease the spread of COVID, but a breath of fresh air or a gentle breeze can help uplift one's mood. Additionally, opening up the windows gives us exposure to sunlight and this can help our brain to release a hormone called serotonin. 
And this hormone serotonin has the ability to help a person feel calm and focus. Number two, take a break from social media. Although it is good to stay well informed about our current situation, constantly hearing about the pandemic could be upsetting. If possible, refrain from checking the daily count of our pandemic cases. Number three, choose your distraction. What I mean by this is to do things that you enjoy. Find an activity that can distract you away from all the negativity of COVID. Instead of thinking and worrying about the uncertainties of our current pandemic, why don't we spend time doing what we love? Activities such as listening to music or reading a book could help uplift the soul. And number four, talk it out. Find a friend whom you trust to share about your feelings. Although the pandemic has decreased our chances of meeting up with one another, our modern technology has broken this barrier. We can call, FaceTime, or even have a Zoom meetup. If we have built up too much negative thoughts or stress in our minds, it is actually good to let it out. Sharing your feelings with someone not only helps to dispel negative thoughts in your mind, but it also helps you to organize your thoughts. However, if you do not have any friends to talk to or no one is around to listen, you can always call the Befrienders hotline. Of course, if you continue to feel highly stressed or even depressed, please do seek out professional help. Lastly, let us keep a daily reminder. A reminder to remind ourselves that we are not alone. Whenever one is faced with hardships or challenges, it's easy to feel like the world is against you. That is why it is important to constantly remind ourselves that we are not going through these struggles alone. Remind ourselves that there are many others in this world who are also facing similar difficulties in their lives. Then, allow yourself the time needed to get through it. Remember, Problems are only temporary and don't be afraid to seek out help. And with that, I would like to conclude my speech with an advice to stop neglecting our mental health. While we are all busy making sure that we are healthy physically, let's not forget the health of our minds. Thank you.